Iran is preparing for a possible strike from Israel in response to the massive rocket attack on Tehran on October the 1st. As a result, Iran asked Russia to help with satellite reconnaissance, according to the New York Times. As the agency reports, Iran expects potential retaliatory strikes from Israel. However, many Iranians have expressed concerns about an unpredictable, escalating war with Israel. Specifically, they have stated that they do not want or support a war with Israel or the United States. They mentioned that their lives are already a struggle due to a dire economy, American sanctions, corruption and repression. War could exacerbate these difficulties and plunge the country into even greater chaos. According to two Iranian officials who are familiar with the war planning and were not authorized to speak publicly, Iran had asked Russia for cooperation with satellite intelligence ahead of an Israeli strike, the agency reports. At the same time, the New York Times did not provide any further details on this matter, nor is it known whether Russia has responded to Iran's request. Recently, Iran launched a missile strike against Israel, firing nearly 200 ballistic missiles. However, Israeli forces, along with American destroyers, successfully intercepted the attack. Subsequently, Iran stated that this strike was in retaliation for the deaths of leaders from Hamas and Hezbollah. In response, Israel promised to retaliate. Recall, American leader Joe Biden said that a possible Israeli strike on Iranian oil facilities is being discussed. In turn, the Iranian regime, commenting on these words of the US president, declared its readiness to launch a simultaneous strike on all of Israel's energy facilities. Israel has several options if its leaders want to launch retaliatory strikes against Iran, and while Western leaders have urged restraint, a significant assault is expected. Possibilities could include strikes against military, economic or even nuclear targets. Iran has relatively weak air defenses. The most direct response would be for Israel to try to strike Iran's cluster of missile and drone bases, which are located underground and in some cases deep under mountains. Alternatives could be to repeat the targeting of Iranian air defense bases, this time on a larger scale, which cover Tehran, Isfahan and ports on the Persian Gulf. An attack on Iran's oil infrastructure has been touted as a likely response. Israel could take a different tack, expanding its program of targeted killings further in Iran. It has already shown it is able to carry out assassinations in Tehran, having killed the Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh at the end of July. Alka Guzik lost four members of her family when a landslide hit the village of Donja Jablanica in Bosnia on Friday. Her brother, brother's wife and both of their children were swept away by the raging water and landslide that struck the village early on Friday. On Saturday, Guzik recounted the events while rescue teams were working in the village, searching for those still missing after flash floods and landslides hit parts of Bosnia, killing at least 16 people and injuring scores. Construction machines worked to remove piles of rocks and debris that covered the central town of Jablanica during a rainstorm early on Friday. Huge quantities of rain fell in the area around Jablanica and nearby Konjic, causing sudden floods which broke into people's homes as they were sleeping. Surging waters also triggered landslides that collapsed roads and hills, covering villages in mud and cutting off entire areas. Thank you. 
Kako ću se osjećati četvrat, nema nikoga, to mi je kuća skroz slušena, tu nema nikoga. Sada vam priča. Sada kasnije tu si išla dole, već mi ovoga bratića odbata sina izradili, mislim, vidim ga ovako,